right, so before we start, I really want to show you guys something here. All right, so yeah, here's my here's my YouTube dashboard or content, whatever you want to call it. And I look at the views on these videos I've been getting, and lately, and lately, they've actually been pretty good for you know for my standards now because you know I'm not a big channel at all so yeah we look at this I remember when I first uploaded this and like two weeks later I only had like 30 views now I'm at 211 I, this is honestly crazy and hey look at this eight likes holy crap now the most I think the most surprising one of all is my Attack of the Emperor of Bull Blacks video. You would think it'd be at most like maybe 400 views. No, 1,300. 1,300 views and 20 likes. I, I, honest, wow. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, no, le legit. I was like, holy shit. People must really love the Emperor Bulbax because, woo, <laughs> wow. But really, that's not the point of this intro, though. The point of this intro is thank you guys. Thank you guys so, so, so much from the bottom of my heart for all of the love and support and likes and views and subs. And I even look at my channel, too. I'm already at, as as of the time of recording this video, which is 4.30 p.m., December 30th, I'm already at 22 subs. Compared to when I started, yeah, I was, I remember, holy crap, I remember, yeah, I'll show you my channel here, you see? 22 subs. And... I remember when I first started and getting that first subscriber, I gotta tell you, that was, that honestly was one of the happiest moments of my YouTube career. And I know that sounds kind of pathetic, but trust me, considering this is YouTube, the more subs you have, the better. And even having one sub, it really means a lot. It really does. Like, you know, like, later, you know that subs aren't only just a thing to get you higher in the rankings. They tell you, hey, people love your stuff. And knowing that, I just, it really, it really warms my heart up. And I just, I just, again, I just want to tell you guys... When you're starting a YouTube channel and you only have one, maybe at like one or two subs and you only get like, I don't know, like five views on a video, don't give up. Keep, if you want to, if you want to start your YouTube career, and I actually learned this, even if you have two buddy, it's still not going to help that much. I mean, maybe every once in a while it might help a little bit, but it honestly doesn't help you that much. But, yeah, really the key that'll get you more support and, you know, and subs and views is just, you know, just make content that's right for you and make sure you, you know, make sure you don't overdo it. Like uploading a video, like five, like uploading five videos in a day, cause then you'll get burnt out. But yeah, it really just take, just take your time with your videos and, you know, like edit, you know, give them some good editing and you should be good to go. That's my advice for boosting your YouTube channel. But thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And 
now let's actually get and actually I'm actually gonna narrate this Pikmin 2 hack video because honestly after seeing you know after seeing that you know after seeing all just the subs and just, just the support in general I'm getting I honestly I want to make this video a bit more special and actually have commentary and just tell you guys how I actually did you know just how I did all this stuff and let me let me know in the comments too would you guys want to see me commentate for every Pikmin 2 hacking video after this no, I really, really want to know because it actually, it actually sounds like a lot of fun, you know, just discussing like what you did to achieve this goal and you know what I mean. But yeah, let me know in the comments if, oh wait, why are we out of focus? Yeah, let me know, yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. But anyway, guys, let's get on with the video. Let me do, yeah, let's discuss, d and discuss, and discuss, and discuss, and discuss, and yeah, I hope, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so when we get into Awakening Wood, you will see an, a couple of immediate differences compared to your vanilla Pikmin 2, and the first difference, obviously, being is the five color onions. Now, shout outs to Pick Hacker for for creating these purple and white onions. Cause holy crap, this makes just the possibilities just that much more endless, let's say. But the other big difference too is the lighting. Now, the lighting, basically how the lighting works is that there's different there's diff there's different parameters in in a lighting file. There is the what was it? There's the main light, there is the ambient light, there is the specular light, and then there's the what was it? I think it's the shadow. Yeah, then the, then there's the fog too. I forgot to mention. And the fog is obviously like here for example, you see like the yellow on top. That's the fog. And yeah, the ambient, the ambient's basically the stuff, again, I still kind of get it all mixed up, but yeah, the ambient light is the light that's, like, say you have a spotlight on, you know, you know, like, you know, like, in the caves, you have the spotlight that's shining on you the whole time, well, the light around that is your ambient light, and then I believe the specular light Again, correct me if I'm wrong, and then the specular light is the actual color of the, you know, the spotlight. Now, it's a bit different when you're above ground, because then, yeah, then you actually gotta worry about different angles and stuff. Literally, all I did here was just put, I just put the light, I angled it completely under the ground, and then I made... The color values for the light zero so that way it's actually kind of weird how it works so if you set it to zero instead of showing like a black light it just turns off it's really strange but I digress um yeah anyway back on topic yeah here's the here's the pumped up bull blacks in all of their glory now, not only did I make him faster, but I also gave him more health. And as you can also see, I also, you know, I bumped up the recovery rate to ridiculous levels. <laughs> and then, it with the Pikmin 2 generator editor, I literally, well, not literally, but, well, I guess, I guess literally, but, I replaced almost every enemy, minus the, I believe it was the log poles. And I believe a couple of, um... Crap, what were they called? You see them at the beginning of the level. They're next to your ship, but... Female shear grubs. That's what they're called, but... 
yeah, besides that, pretty much every enemy is a is an Emperor Ball Blacks. Not only that, but a but a beefy one. Yeah, even the the Flint and the Glint Beetles, I changed to Emperor Ball Blacks, as you, as you can see here. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's honestly crazy just what you can do with Pikmin 2 hacking and parameters and but yeah how now how I actually modified the Emperor Bull Blacks like the speed and stuff basically in the root folder for the game there's actually a folder it's called enemy and then I believe there is a there's an SCS in there it's called the enemy parms actually hang on let me look here real quick I actually have it right in here. Yeah, the, yeah, you, yeah. You then click Parm, and then you'll then you'll see Enemy Parms, which is your SCS file. Now SCS files, they're basically Nintendo's equivalent to zip files. You know, like when you download stuff off the internet, sometimes it's in a zip file. This is basically it's basically the same thing. It's just Nintendo's proprietary version of it. Now. You can actually extract everything that's in this SES file by using RARC, which is which is actually what I used to do. But yeah, because then it creates a folder, and then you can modify the 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 stuff that's in that folder, and then you can repackage the folder as an as an SES. However, I actually learned of a of a tool that recently came out called We Explorer. Which basically allows you to not only open the SCS files, but they also allow you to extract a file. Like, say you put the file on your desktop, like the file you want to modify. And then, when you're done, you can actually replace that file in the SCS itself. So it makes it so much easier. It just wastes so much less time. But, yeah... <laughs> These Emperor Bolaxes, they're, they're, yeah, you can even see their models kind of glitch. Yeah, see, like right there, their models are glitching out a bit because they're going so fast. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, doing this was actually a lot of fun. Yeah, th there was a reason why I called this version two. Because not only did I make the lighting a bit more spookier, but I also, you know, I made the Emperor Bolaxes infinitely more relentless. <laughs> See now this, now this would be this should be called the Wrath of the Emperor. Bullock. Look at this! Oh, oh, they're all getting smashed! Oh no! Bang! Boom! <laughs> Wait! Boom! But yeah, I mean that's really about it. Again, if you want to see any more, you know, if you want to see, if or sorry, if you want me to narrate any more of these Pikmin 2 hacking videos, let me know in the comments. You know, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace.